<laughs> True with the podcast coming back at you with another video. I recently saw this question posed by an individual. They were curious to know how long did it take you to learn multiple spins? I've heard some people say anywhere from four years to a couple of months. Uh, I believe that, you know, in about one year of consistent training and practicing proper technique, you can definitely achieve multiple spins. You're gonna struggle for a while, but um, the dedicated training, you definitely can achieve multiple spins. I have my girlfriend with here, Francesca, who is a, an amazing follow in salsa, bachata, kizomba, Brazilian zouk. I wanna ask you, Francesca, um, you know, looking back on your dance journey, your dance career, how long, well, first off, can you do multiple spins? It's a struggle for me still. Mm. How mm -hmm. long? How long have you been practicing multiple spins? Um, consistent maybe maybe about a year, a year? two years. Okay. And and yeah. do you have? Uh, is there anything you learned that kind of helped benefit you? That helped you achieve those multiple spins? Just to let go, mm -hmm. and just to be in the moment. It's because um, a spin is just a momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, you need to have control of your body, at least for me. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just that momentum. Because at the beginning, whenever I started, whenever I felt like I was prepping for a spin or something, I was just going into panic mode. And I was just setting up myself for failure mm -hmm. from the get-go. Why, why were you panicking and how did you get over that panic mode? Because I just wanted to do multiple spins. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to be a beast spinning. And I was learning. I was just still like a very, very, very beginner. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to cross the bridge before I got there. Oh, shucks. Okay, okay. Well, um, you know, speaking with a lot of instructors and, and professional dancers, you know, something that I hear that can help with multiple spins is, you know, spotting. Spotting really helps. And for those who don't know, spotting is where you focus on one point of reference and you try and keep mm -hmm. your eyes trained on that point yeah. as you turn around yeah mm -hmm. a teacher can go into a lot more depth with that um but spotting can be very beneficial uh winding up in the opposite direction of your turn helps and finding your center it is extremely beneficial but it also takes some time well y'all so here's an advice so like terence was saying spotting is definitely extremely helpful and that's what um Gonna keep your head in place so you don't lose your balance, yeah. And it's not just that; it's your core, but also something that I learned recently. It's relevant. So practice your relevant, because if you cannot stay on your relevant for a minute, or let's say thirty seconds, then you won't be able to spin for thirty seconds either. So just make sure again that you're practicing your relevant. You're doing some exercise for your core and practice speed and even even in the mirror, in the mirror in your house. What is relevé? So let's say that you're standing up, you are lifting your weight off the ground until you stand on the ball or your feet. If you want more tips on how to do relevé, you can just do a quick YouTube search and then spell R-E-L-E-V-E. -E -E. And this is something, uh, this is a technique also used in ballet. Um, these are just some thoughts that I had. Uh, I would absolutely love to hear from you all. You know, what are your thoughts and opinions? Any advice for anyone out there who is struggling to accomplish multiple spins? Please let me know in the comments down below.